Hello, people. I am Javi Kuwait, joined by Gianna Cesar, aka Where is Jubilee? She's part of the X Men. We're gonna look at Katha Sangamba. This is a Canada Canada trailer, and it stars Rishabh Shetty is the is the uh, star of this, and it's directed by Shashi Kumar P. I know nothing about this trailer. It was just put in front of me by. Uh, she who shall not be named. <laughs> and uh, here we go. What? Let's do this. Let's go. There was something interesting there. Hold on. Look, 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 look at this. Seven directors, seven stories, seven musicians, seven DOPs, one movie. So it's a collection of stories. I wish they'd put that in the beginning, because then I would have. That's all good. Then like. Now you know. One of the things that I I, I forgot to prep you with is that uh, okay. So in India, you have different regions which represent different cinemas, right? So you got Bollywood. Okay. That's the most ubiquitously known. But in India, they have the Telugu, Tamil, Kannada, like and the Malayalam. These different cinemas with regional cinema, non Bollywood. I noticed that the trailers are always ambiguous, so you can't like- That was very ambiguous. Yes, but I like that. <laughs> I like that because it doesn't give anything away. What we got out of that was an emotion more than anything. Like the general emotion, the general feeling that you're gonna experience, as well as the visuals. Like, to me that was visually stunning. I mean, Do you think it was multiple storylines interweaving in one, or was that all separate, one story yeah. being told through seven different directors? No, so I- That's the part I where I was like, I think it's seven different stories. You're gonna have like one little short film, then another, then another, then another, and I think there's gonna be an overlapping tone or theme through all of them that is gonna be common between the That's short amazing, films. That's amazing, actually. Yeah. The European version of that is like Coffee and Cigarettes or whatever it's called. Did you see that movie? No. Yeah, there's a movie called Coffee and Cigarettes. Educate uh, me. Yeah, it's a black and white film with a bunch of different, like some of the actors are very well known, some are not, and then mm. a lot of the directors, the same thing, like some are very well known, some are not, and it's just random conversations. And then the common theme there, I think, is just these conversations that people have while smoking, co uh, smoking coffee, smoking and drinking <laughs> Don't coffee. Don't try that at home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Drink. The thing that uh, was kind of pulling me in is just how real it all feels. 
while still feeling ethereal, if that makes any kind of sense. No, that's a good way to put it. You know what I mean? It sort of had this kind of magical quality while feeling very real. And the part that kind of freaked me out was when the guy was like, threatening to kill himself and the wife was like, whatever, go ahead, do it. The thing is, if you've ever had a dramatic romance when you're a teenager, like you might've come across that kind of- Romeo and Juliet. You know, that kind of feeling. Type, yeah. Yeah, I've been there. It's stupid. Don't do that. Don't put that on your partner. It's dumb. But see, so you already had that much of an emotional like reaction to, what was that, three minute trailer, mm -hmm. so. I mean, I'm invested to check it out more. I think yeah. it was shot really well, like considering there were seven DPs. I don't know how they made that look cohesive and look good. Yeah, when you deal with like a TV show, like uh, Fincher will start out the first two episodes of Mindhunters or Mindhunter, whatever it's called. And then the other directors, the DPs have to follow suit. They have to follow that same uh, tonality visually. And so I don't know if they deliberately did that because it did feel like one consistent thing. And I think that added to our confusion of like, wait, what's yeah. going on? In my own project, like I've had three DPs and through color, mm -hmm. like in post, like when we color everything, it we've made it kind of look like one. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. This is sort of the same thing. It's, it's an artsy fartsy thing, you see? Blend it together. That was on purpose. We yeah. wanted it to have like unique Meant colors here. To and do that. This is sort of sepia tone. <laughs> This is saturated deeply. I it's don't know thing. why. It's you know, a thing. Don't question it. It's a music video. I did feel the same way. Like it had a consistency to it. But the very end, there was like a tattoo thing at the end. I don't know what that. Confused. Tattoo. Yeah, you were confused. Confused. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't. I was expecting to be confused. Is the thing. I was expecting to not exactly know what was going on, because it's a regional trailer. See, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like I said, I didn't prep her in advance, but... I thoroughly was confused, but yeah. it was intriguing. Yeah. Throughout the trailer, it's making you ask questions. I've seen a lot of movie trailers where I asked no questions and didn't care. Or they just give you the whole plot, which is yeah. why I see it. Yeah, exactly. Whereas here, I'm asking questions like, what is this guy doing with the gun in his hand while he's looking at the mirror? Is he thinking about suicide? Is he thinking about killing somebody? What's going on with that couple? What's she asking of him? Like, what, what does she want him to do? When she goes, are you gonna look at me the same way or look after me the same way? Is she talking about pregnancy? What's to do with the little girl? I'm just so curious. There's a lot of factors. There's a Netflix movie called Lust Stories. And it's a similar thing. Never heard it's, of it's it. It's four Indian directors, and you know, it's a four different stories all dealing with sexuality on some level. That's the common tone is like how Indians, I mean, at least in, in the terms of the interpretation of those filmmakers, like how Indians are dealing with their sexuality. But the- Is it set in modern times or is it- uh... Modern times, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just like this. This is set in modern times. I think these can be really, really cool as long as there is some kind of kernel of an idea that is following through and through, through all of them. As long as you have that- The that... connecting threads. Yeah, the so connecting speak. threads. Yeah, exactly. What would be even neater is if somehow at some point there was a, a crossover most likely it won't Even happen. The neater. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. <You go>, what? <laughs> the neatest. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. So who can we credit this film to? Uh, the seven, seven directors. And, the and seven. It was right there in the description and somehow I missed it. Cause I, I thought it was directed by Shashi Kumar, but it's directed by several people. Oh, so you he's, have- He's like, is he like oh the captain gosh. director? No, or? no, no. That's story <laughs> one and story two is directed by Chand Rajith. Bal There's a whole bunch of directors here. This um, is insane, the yeah. amount of credits, and I wondered how long it took to produce this. Well, what's even more fascinating is how this comes together. How does something like this get produced? How does someone go, oh, you know what? We should do this thing where we got seven different stories, and then have seven different people come together and make this. Like, how do you even come up with that idea? To me, that's crazy. Maybe, you are know? they all somehow under one production house, and they're like, well, we have seven great films, and we can't pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we should do that. Yeah. Well, that doesn't really happen here in the States, where you have no. collections of of short films getting a theatrical release. Or, never, I've know. never heard of that. The only thing yeah. that's been remotely done like that, it, that I'm aware of is Grindhouse. You don't remember Grindhouse, do you? It was Tarantino mm -hmm. and Robert Rodriguez came together to make these two horror films. Okay. You know, so there was Planet Terror and Death Proof. Planet Terror and Death Proof were shown back to back. It was like three hours. It was three hours of B horror. And you know, you just sat <laughs> Great through. Great way to spend time. I mean, it can be fun. <laughs> I, I personally didn't enjoy Planet Terror. I thought it was just too much B. I enjoyed what was there in Death Proof to enjoy. But it was like three hours of sitting there and watching that stuff, right? And this could be three hours long. You know, Indian films tend to be on the longer side. And so that really gets, that allows you to really enjoy 
each of these seven stories more. I like that it's about storytelling, which at least the trend in the West seems to be like just kind of thrill, thrill, whatever can be like clickbait topics. Yeah. The storytelling art's a little bit uh, getting diluted. So this is, this is fascinating. I'm very intrigued by this and I would love to hear what you guys think. I mean, I don't know when this is coming out. It doesn't say a release date. But I'd love Surprise. to, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think if I should go check it out because, yeah, so I'm definitely curious. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. By the way, Gianna Cesar, who is Jubilee, where is Jubilee? <laughs> Who's Jubilee? I'm, I'm wondering oh, that who, myself. Where? What? Uh, she's got music on the internets and you can find those links in the Thank description you. below. Make sure you check those out when you get a chance and um, have fun. Yeah, this Listen. guy's gonna be mm. in it too. Yes, oh, that's right, I'm in it. So you Yeah, and it. a charm. And a charm, so. Oh, crew. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for hanging out. Check her out. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell Delicious. icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Koei. This is. Do you want to say it's hard? Peace out. Peace out.